Hey everybody, and welcome to this demonstration of Dremio, the unified lakehouse analytics platform. A platform that aims to make data lakehouse architecture easy, open, and fast by providing you with unified analytics to combine all your data sources, such as object storage or on-prem data lakes and other data sources in your long tail of analytical sources, such as relational databases, NoSQL databases, data warehouses, and more, and being able to combine them all through Dremio's universal semantic layer where you can govern it and make sure you maintain top level security. But not only can you curate the data, but you can query that data with a SQL query engine that has top, uh, top price performance, allowing you to use unique uh, features to Dremio, such as reflections to accelerate those queries, allows you to federate those queries, and again, allows you to operate across multiple clouds and hybrid cloud and on-prem environments. But oftentimes the center of your analytical world will be your data lake as you build a data lake house. So being able to manage that lake house so that way it just works is a big part of what Dremio brings to the table with its lake house management features, providing you a modern data catalog with Git for data features, along with automatic table optimization. So that way those tables are always crisp, always fast when they're queried. And again, this platform can be brought to you either through a self-managed uh, Kubernetes deployment or through a cloud managed SaaS deployment. So again, Dremio allows you to shift left. So it allows you to kind of move more and more of your workloads from the extra storage cost, the extra compute cost, the extra egress cost of having to work more in a data warehouse and be able to, again, shift left so that way you're doing more of your workloads on the data lake. Okay, so that way Dremio be, is able to make the center of your analytical world your data lake because you'll be able to connect your data sources directly to Dremio and then deliver that directly to your uh, analysts, data scientists, etc. because Dremio provides you that intuitive self-service experience, that intelligent and powerful query engine, and those next generation data ops capabilities with its integrated catalog, those Git-like features, table optimization, and more. So now let's begin with the demonstration. Hello everybody, welcome to this demonstration of the self-managed version of Dremio, the unified lakehouse analytics platform. Now, basically I have Dremio in this case deployed on my laptop through a Docker container. In the video description, I will have a link to where you can find an exercise where you can also do the same, deploy Dremio on your laptop uh, with, with, with a custom object storage and catalog, so that way you can see the full lake house experience. Dremio can also e be easily deployed using our Kubernetes k 8 Helm chart, so that way you have a full production grade deployment in your Kubernetes cluster uh, done pretty easily. Now, just to kind of walk you through the Dremio UI, because uh, Dremio aims to make it pretty easy to begin constructing your data lake house. And generally the first step is going to be the connect your sources. And you can connect a variety of sources, including lake house catalogs, meta stores, storage, uh, and databases. Okay, now when you're first evaluating Dremio, one of the easiest things you can do is you can click on the sample source, which connects a object storage uh, that has a variety of sample data that you can work with. So if I click in here, I can see that it's giving me access to this bucket. And right here, I can find a bunch of different sort of sample data sets that I can work with. Okay, so for example, and this would go for any object storage, I could see folders. So for example, this is a iceberg table uh, that is done as a file system table. And I could easily just basically turn that to be recognized as a singular table by clicking format. It recognizes that it's an iceberg table. And then when it's done scanning it, I would click save. Okay, but also I can do this with individual files like CSV and JSON files, where I can sit there and say, hey, I want the CSV file to be treated as a table. I can click this format file option. It'll recognize that it's a CSV file. I can say, hey, you know, I want to extract the field names. So that way that first row becomes the field names. Hit save. And now I have quickly just turned that CSV file into a table that I can query. Okay, and I haven't made a copy of the data, it's just that CSV file is now recognized by the Dremio system. And now I can run queries in it in our nice SQL runner, which makes it really easy to write SQL in this editor. As you can see, there's syntax highlighting. I can do quick function lookup to look up any of Dremio's SQL functions. Okay, there's light mode, dark mode, um, and a variety of really cool features to make writing SQL much easier. So if I were to run this SQL, what you, you can see here, that I can run the SQL, and then once it's done, the results will appear. 
Okay, and again, basically that was running on my laptop, but accessing data from the data lake from the object store. Okay, and basically I can see a variety of different uh, data there. Wonderful. And the cool thing is from here, I could continue manipulating this through SQL, you know, renaming fields, changing different data types to create the exact view of the data that I need, and then be able to save that data as a view for easy, um, you know, replication. But I can also do this using a variety of different tools built into the Dremio UI for, um, you know, even your least technical users can begin really doing a lot of self-service data curation, whether they need to rename a field, drop a field, convert the data type of a field, do joins, uh, all sorts of really kind of great options they can use to begin curating the specific view of the data they need. Okay, um, so that's like the SQL editor and you can pretty much do whatever you want there. Um, you're also able to click here on the details tab where there is a wiki for each data set. So you can actually create documentation for the data set that lives within the Dremio system. So that way people can find the information they need to better understand the data sets that are available to them along with other fun data set statistics and along with the reflections features, which essentially does away with the need for things like materialized views, uh, BI extracts and cubes. So essentially any situation where I would need normally need materialized views, I would turn on raw reflections and any type of situation where I would normally need uh, BI cubes or extracts, I would turn on aggregation reflections to accelerate my queries. But not only that, I can begin curating a semantic layer in Dremio. So that way there's a nice organized view of my data. So I can click here and create different spaces or top level sort of top level of our catalog here. So I can create like a virtual data mark and say, hey, I want to create like a data mark for marketing. Okay, and I want to create like a data mark for um, supply chain and so forth. And then I can go into these spaces and I can create folders. Okay, so for example, if I were doing like a medallion architecture, I could create like a bronze silver gold type setup and then I can go to my data sets that I've connected and I can begin curating those views so I can go back to that uh, weather okay and again maybe I'll, I'll run that query and then we're going to create a view on this data okay and then what I can do is I will say hey I want to save this view Say view as, okay, and I can say, hey, I want to put it in marketing, and I want to put it in bronze, sort of as a raw data set. So I'll say weather raw. Okay, so now what I can do is I can give access to different users. So I can again, I can go create users on the the, the Lakehouse platform that other people can then begin access, and I can begin controlling that access either by controlling their access to an individual space, controlling their, their access to an individual folder, and controlling their access to individual data sets. Okay, so then now that person who I've given access to this, you know, marketing mart, they'll be able to see the data sets in the bronze folder and begin curating their gold, their silver and gold data sets uh, among that team. Okay, if, I, if, if that's how I wanted to proceed. And I can again overview all the different uh, queries that have been coming in so that way I can further optimize, see sort of what kind of jobs are coming in, who's running what kind of jobs, what's their SQL, so that way I can look for opportunities. So always optimize, uh, whether it's optimizing performance or optimizing costs, I can see the information I need here on the job tracker. But a bottom line is basically this makes it really easy to deliver that data because now all your analysts and data scientists can connect to the data curated on Dremio either through JDBC, ODBC, uh, through uh, the Dremio's REST API and Dremio's AeroFlight uh, endpoint. And many integrations are already built around these connectors to your favorite BI tools and other data tools. So that way you can just easily pull that data. So instead of having to connect to 10 different sources from your favorite endpoint or your favorite BI tool, you can just connect to Dremio, have the pre-curated data set that's already accelerated, ready to go to build fast BI, um, you know, great notebooks ready for, for machine learning and all sorts of really great use cases or building data applications on top of this data. So that's a quick tour of uh, Dremio, the unified Lakehouse analytics platform. I'll see you all later. Have a great day and enjoy.